to a compact mega mansion sitting on a city street. Washington, D.C., America's capital and home to the nation's wealthy power elite. The U.S. Capitol complex covers over 450 acres and 17.4 million square feet of federal buildings, including the White House, the U.S. Congress, and the Lincoln Memorial. Among the monuments and federal buildings sits the Mansion on O Street, a $50 million masterpiece hidden in plain sight. Let me show you around the mansion. We have over 100 rooms in the mansion. There's 30 bedrooms, there's 32 bathrooms, and everything in the house is for sale. In 1865, Edward Clark, the architect of the Capitol, designed for his own home the intricate, interconnected mansion on the Georgetown side of DuPont Circle, primetime real estate. From the street, it looks like a row of separate, high-end Washington, D.C. brownstones. But in reality, it's one 30,000 square foot maze of a mansion valued at over $50 million. This place is unlike anything you've ever seen. It's five townhomes connected by a series of secret doors, twisted staircases, and packed to the rafters with weirdness and creepitude. Once a home to Washington, D.C.'s most celebrated architect, it's now a live-in hotel and museum for the creative process. The hosts and designers of this fun house are H.H. Leonard Sparrow and her husband, Ted Sparrow. I bought the house and moved in in February 14, 1980. Everything about the house is heart. Creating a $50 million luxury labyrinth of hidden doors, themed rooms, and pricey ornaments. It's five interconnected row houses down in the center of Washington, D.C. It's amazing grace. It's magical. And one thing's for sure, it's every billionaire hoarder's dream come true. The mansion on O Street is now the capital's secret elite getaway. A boutique hotel and private club catering to a who's who of rock stars, politicos, and wealthy eccentrics. The guests range from musicians, models, uh, movie stars, theater stars, singers, poets. O Street has hosted everyone, from civil rights activist Rosa Parks to Miles Davis and Bob Dylan. We're entering the ballroom now, which is one of the many rooms we do dinners, weddings, parties. And music is a big part of what we do here at the mansion. We have artists that stay here, they play here, they even give us things like guitars. O Street boasts a collection of 80 signed vintage guitars that would fetch a small fortune to the right collector. The mansion is a haven for musicians. They must love the secret doors. They perform here. In fact, we have a very strict privacy policy, and a lot of them really want their privacy protected. This place is huge. After hearing about it uh, on the internet and from a few friends and hearing like the people who have stayed here in the past, we decided we had to check it out. We're musicians ourselves. We hear that so many musicians have stayed here. We're some really cool other people as well. And of course, there are secret doors. Yeah. So I've never been to a place with secret doors, period. So sounds, I wanted to see that. Sounds like an adventure. Let's do it. You don't have to be rich or famous to stay at O Street. Everyone can enjoy the craziness. Anyone is welcome. They make their reservations online. The rooms cost $350 to $3,000 a night. Look at those guitars, Josh. <laughs> if you do get to stay, they only show you the way to your room once. There are 30,000 square feet. There are 32 bathrooms, 14 kitchens, two elevators. It's easy to get lost, but there's so much to find, it's a welcome trip. Look behind you, there's all this Beatles stuff. Whoa. We like when people get wow. lost because then they get found again, and that's the whole purpose of the house. The mansion is all about the creative process. The point of the house is coming in here, finding something that inspires you in some positive way. So if something inspires you like this chandelier, you can buy it for $18,000. We have secret doors all over the house, like this one, that connect the five interconnected townhouses. The place is a puzzle. 
O Street has over 60 secret doors and passageways. The design of most dates back to the original government architect. Makes you wonder what other secrets the Capitol holds. People get so enthusiastic about finding secret doors that we have to put these signs everywhere because they'll pull this thing right off the wall. Whatever secrets there are, O Street keeps them well. Here, there's a strict policy that includes never sharing any personal information about the elite clientele or what goes on within its walls. The luxury of discretion doesn't come cheap. Last week, somebody rented the entire mansion for a masquerade party. It cost them around $35,000. That's one crazy night of decadent fun. Next, the G-Men of O Street. J. Edgar Hoover took it over when he became the director of the FBI. The mansion on O Street is quite possibly the best kept secret in all of Washington, D.C. On the outside, it's five simple brownstones, but on the inside, it's definitely the weird zone. The looming urban hotel has over 100 rooms, each with its own unique character. The whole place has been designed and decorated to fulfill any dream or desire. All of our guest rooms are themed guest rooms, and this is the log cabin. Now, it's just not a one-story log cabin, it's a two-story log cabin. So you're really in a home away from home here in the heart of DC. The best thing about staying in the log cabin room is the bathroom. Sort of taking a shower in the woods because you are in the log cabin, you can enjoy our master bath, which includes a hot summer breeze, a rainforest shower, a jacuzzi, and a sauna. A two-story log cabin with a state-of-the-art party bathroom complete with rainforest simulator. I know Lincoln was born in a log cabin, but was it in a rainforest? Of course, no mansion is complete without a billiards room. I can't even tell you what happens in this room because I'm sworn to secrecy. Deals are made. And of course, like everything else that's for sale in the mansion, the barber chairs are for sale. They could be yours for only $16,000. And while you're playing pool, guests would love to listen to our Beatles jukebox. That is until somebody buys it. It's only $18,000. 16K for a barber chair, 18K for a jukebox. The mansion on O Street is just a little out there. O Street has many mysterious aspects, but its biggest secrets are on the other side of this door. So we're in the wine cellar now, better known as the chef's table, right off the main kitchen in the mansion. Lots of things happen in this room. And you know those secret societies you hear about? They really do exist. That's all I can tell you. You get the feel of important men making important decisions. So when people are in the wine cellar, they just become different people, especially after, of course, partaking in the wine. O Street is an epicenter for influential people, some creative, some powerful. A few of those men included a former FBI director and a couple of his top agents. J. Edgar Hoover took it over when he became the director of the FBI, and this is where he had a flop house for G-Men. This was five teeny tiny little cubicles for the agents. Hoover's G-Men were a group of special agent gangbusters that went after notorious gangsters, the likes of Al Capone and George Machine Gun Kelly. And even a cunning bootlegger like Capone would have gotten lost here. O Street's themed rooms, hidden doors, and secret corridors are elaborately outfitted with everything from priceless guitars to jukeboxes and barber chairs, and everything can be had for enough cash. So this way. And all this is hidden within the walls of the mansion that is itself hidden among the streets of the U.S. Capitol. We've been here for 33 years. Best kept secret in Washington.